Welcome back to Have You Seen That Film? It's Halloween time! <laughs> so, what would a film channel be if we did not discuss some scary movies? This pick that I have for today is called The Comedy of Terrors, starring horror icons Vincent Price, as Waldo Trumbull, Peter Lore, Lore, Peter Lore, as Felix Gilly, Boris Karloff as Amos Hinchley, and then we have Basil Rathborn as Mr. Black, and Joyce Jameson as Amaryllis Trumbull. This story tells the story of Mr. Trumbull, played by Vincent Price. He is the town's undertaker, and he's also a drunk, and he's unhappy in his marriage and very rude to his wife and his father-in-law. His father-in-law being uh, Boris Karloff's character and Joyce Jameson playing his wife. Um, at the moment, business is doing pretty poorly. And on top of that, his landlord, Mr. Black, has come demanding that rent needs to be paid or he will be kicked out. And so he takes his assistant, his co-worker, Mr. Gilly, to go out and recruit business. AKA they're going out to go kill people in order to have business because they are undertakers. Now, Mr. Trumbull has no problem with this. Mr. Gilly, on the other hand, does not like it. Their first murder ends up not working out. It works out in the fact that they kill someone, but then they don't get their money. So, Mr. Black is still demanding pay, and that's when Mr. Trumbull gets the idea, we're going to take out Mr. Black. Well, that's what they do, but while they're there, Mr. Black has what appears to be a heart attack and dies. Or does he? Mr. Black is actually keeps coming back to life, even though he keeps appearing dead. And so they bury him as soon as possible in order to get rid of him. But do they get rid of him? That is the question you will find out if you watch The Comedy of Terrors. This is another one of those many films that I've will say that my wife and I just watched on a whim. There's a few of these on this channel where we just were kind of like, let's watch something new. And, and that's what the mood we were in. Let's watch something new, but we wanted to watch, we weren't sure if we wanted a scary movie, a funny movie, it's Halloween time, blah, blah, blah. And we found this, the comedy of terrors. And I've been wanting to watch more of the, the old horror icon films. And so we decided to watch this one, not really knowing what we were going to get into. And, I am so glad we watched this movie. It was so funny. I I was there it's been a long time, not a long time. I was genuinely laughing out loud at how, at how funny this movie was. And also at times I was uncomfortable with how dark the movie was. Um, this is a, a dark comedy, a black comedy because it's you know, it's about people going out and killing people in order to make money and have a business. And and that's where like the dark side of it comes in because there's a couple times where I'm just like, throughout the movie where I was like, I'd be laughing so hard and then suddenly I'd be like, uh, this is a little uncomfortable. You're killing somebody. Uh. But I was pleasantly surprised with this movie. This is to the point where my wife and I have gone back and rewatched some of the scenes that we thought were so funny and we've now stated that it's going to be on our Halloween list every year of movies that we go through during the season. So yeah, I I really enjoyed this movie and I think particularly the cast was so great having these horror icons in it working together and relying more on the humor aspect than the scare aspect, but having a, a good balance of it. I mean, I wasn't scared watching it, but it was definitely uncomfortable. Um, I feel like doing a horror comedy, it's a, it's a hard blend to get right because I want to make you laugh, but I want to make you scared. So it's, it's a harder one to kind of juggle. And this one I'd say is more comedy than it is scary but I still thought it did a pretty good job with its premise and its idea and particularly lending all the 
the credit to the cast because they really did a great job together. I thought the story was definitely unique. The idea that we have a an undertaker who's failing, who's not being able to get business, so uh, what does he do? He goes out to find his own business. He kills people in order to make money. And, you know, realistically, this is actually, in a sense, historically accurate to a, a degree. I've, I've read and heard many stories of people who uh, hundreds of years ago or a couple hundred years ago, they would used to, this is what they would do. They would get people and they would kill them and either they would sell their belongings to make money, uh, they would make sure they had life insurance policy and then they would kill them and claim their life insurance policy. People would kill people and then sell their corpse to schools so that the schools would be able to have an actual corpse to use with their students. You know, this this story isn't far-fetched in the idea that this is this probably did happen or it could happen because this is, I mean, if you're an undertaker, especially in a time when there's no DNA, like, let's let's kill some people. Let's make some money. And how are we going to make money? We got to... So this is what they did. And so I guess that kind of brings in some of that scare aspect where it's more like, oh, this is really like realistic. This could happen. This probably did happen. And so I liked though that the story was original. Um, this came out in the 60s and so, you know, stories were a little bit more original back then instead of being remakes or retellings of stories. This was something I was, I enjoyed this story because it was original to me. It was different. And, and they made me laugh throughout it. You know, in a story like this, I was able to laugh. And I really gotta say, Vincent Price, a lot of the credit I think goes to him. Well, and, and Peter Lore. I've, but you know, Vincent Price, I, I associate him particularly with horror. Like, I remember watching a house, the house on Haunted Hill, you know, he's the voice of Rattigan in The Great Mouse Detective, and he's always these evil characters, and he's definitely evil in this show, which was so interesting because he was our main character, and he made me laugh so much, and yet he was such a terrible human being that like, you didn't want to root for him, but at times you liked him because he was making you laugh. But then you'd be like, but you're a murderer and really mean to your wife. You're trying to get rid of your, you're trying to kill your own father-in-law in front of him. And you're really rude to your assistant. Like he wasn't a good person, yet I was laughing at him and he would make me laugh by the things he would say or the way he would act. So he was a really interesting character uh, to see as our main character because you didn't want to root for him, but at times you found yourself liking him. So I thought... I thought that was well played. I really, overall, this movie was really fun. If you're wanting to watch some horror icons get together and, and not be in such a scary movie, but, you know, see them together, this is, this is, this is one I'd recommend to you. I, I rate it highly. I've already been going out and telling people about this movie because I want other people to watch this movie. Do you ever have that where you watch a movie and it's like unknown or nobody really knows about it and so you like go out and you're trying to get people to other people to watch it because you want to talk about it with more people and you want more people to enjoy this show that's what I've been doing and that's what I'm doing to you now go check this movie out the comedy of terrors it is well worth the watch it's perfect for the season that we're in and I kid you not you will not regret it if you have if you have seen it already go ahead and comment down below tell me your thoughts on it if you haven't seen it watch it and then comment down below make sure you either thumbs this video up if you liked it if you didn't let me know why and subscribe thank you for watching and i hope you have a spectacular season that's a wrap